Okay, so thank you for joining me today for a 20 minute glute activation and a workout. So we're gonna start um, nice and slow, nice and controlled. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna stretch, first of all, through the front um, of the legs. So from here, all we do is step the right leg all the way back. You can hold onto a wall or something in front of you if you need a little bit of balance. I'm just gonna sink my hips down and then make sure that front knee is on top of the ankle and I'm gonna lean back. If this feels a little bit much, you can pop a cushion here, pop your back knee on the cushion and be in this position. So just looking for a nice stretch through the front of that right thigh. Inhaling up. Beautiful, I'm gonna use the arms here really stretch through that line of muscles. So from here we come down, inhale up, press forward, down, inhale. As I come up, hips forward, body back. One more there. Beautiful, yes. And then from here, we're gonna bring the hands to the hips. And you're just gonna go up and down, five little lunges here. So that back knee goes down and back up. One more bit wobbly to start with. Down and back up, down. Wobbles are normal, your body's just finding its balance. Pushing a lot into that front heel. Good, and coming up. Shake it out, shake it out. Same on the other side, all the way back. Sinking into the high lunge or the low lunge variation. Little tuck of the pelvis under, lean the body back. And then when you're ready, inhale, arms up. And then exhale down. So you're trying to keep the legs nice and strong and balanced. You can do that here as well. Just making sure that kneecap at the bottom is comfortable. Last one. Hands to the hips, up and down. Five static lunges, down, back up to the top, down. Just going the range of motion that feels comfortable. If you feel any pain as you go down, stop just before that point and try to come back up. So try to avoid any pain. I think that's six. PTs definitely can't count. Bring it in. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Wonderful. Okay, so from here, we're gonna pop the feet now nice and wide. Turn the toes out. You can use any kind of uh, baked beans or body weight or kettlebells. Going to use this, it's a little 12 kilos, but you can use any, any size that, that feels good. And then from here, you're going to push into your heels, push your knees out so they're the same angle as your feet and keep your chest lifted. So we go down and as we come up, we almost straighten the legs, but not quite. You're going to squeeze your bottom and then we drop down, squeeze, down and squeeze. Awesome. And just finding that nice range of motion. You're trying to keep your torso as lifted as possible. So attempting, especially with the weight, for it to start bringing you forward. But imagine you're doing that elevator thing you do with a friend where you keep your body upright and lower down outside a window normally. Good, so muggy today, it's so warm. And do five more, five. Inhale, four. Squeeze at the top, three. Inhale, two. One more, yes. Good, bringing that up. Popping that down, nice and carefully. From here, I'm gonna do a little reverse lunge to kick one minute each side. 
So from here we step back with the right leg. So we step back, do a little lunge, and then we kick. And step back, lunge. If the kick doesn't feel good, you can do the knee. I'm, I haven't got much space here. So I'm gonna do the knee. And knee. As you come up, pushing through that front heel, squeezing your left butt cheek at the top. Going at a pace that suits you. You want to get the heart rate up. You don't want to give yourself a heart attack, so just, just go at a nice steady pace. You've got 15 seconds. Stop and rest if you need to. Otherwise, stay with me. Oh, we got it. You might get the occasional one that's quite wobbly. They all might feel quite wobbly. That's okay. Good, and swapping sides. Lunging back, boom. Awesome. Nice deep breaths. We got it, 20 seconds to go. Again, just trying to keep that torso nice and upright, belly tight. And then I find it really helpful just to look at one point ahead. Also, last one. Yeah, good. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna come down to the floor. Options here. So if you want to use bands, then you can. You don't have to, you can do all of these just with your um, body weight. I got this amazing set of skills, SKLZ, little glute elastics. So just elastic, in like a little circle. If you've got the long ones, you can tie a knot. It does kind of work. It's a bit uncomfortable where the knot is. <laughs> so choose your strength. I've got a pack of three, so you can choose light, medium, or strong, depending if you've done them before. Always start with the light and build up. So if you're using the band, pop the band up your legs. Just to above your knee. And then try to make the elastic nice and smooth. And then come down onto your back. So from here we pop the knees hip distance. Thighs are going to be parallel to one another. So the knees aren't dropping in. From here I push into the outside edges of my feet and have my feet parallel and heels close to my bum. I constantly push outwards into the band as I press the hips up and squeeze my bottom at the top. Then I drop down again. Up to the top, squeeze, push into the heels. I can wiggle my toes if I wanted to. And down. Push it, squeeze, and down. As you squeeze and hold at the top, pull your belly button in towards your back. You can put your hands by your side and push down for a bit of extra support. Pushing to the top, squeeze and lower. Keep pushing the bend out and down. Squeeze, you hold momentarily and then you drop back up and drop. Good. Last two, boom. And down, up, and down. Perfect. You can relax, let your knees drop together. This next time, we're going to go up to the top, hold it in the bridge, and then you're just going to take your knees like a couple of inches wider than your hips, and then back to hip distance. So it's like tiny little pulses. So we bring the knees to hip distance, 
lift the hips up, body is in a line as much as you can between your shoulders and your knees, and then from here we go a little bit wider with the knees, back to hip distance, wider, back, two, three. So you can totally do this just with body weight. It might not feel as strong, but even just holding it at the top and squeezing your bottom right now is doing a load of good. So just stay with us either way. Beautiful, squeeze it. So keeping the hips high, try not to let them drop as you go. Beautiful, last two. That should be about 15 and down. So nice, we're gonna do that one more time. One more set of 10 to 15 little pulses. So hip distance, push to the top, little out and back, out and back, out and back. Good, four, five, lift your hips higher, six, fairly tight, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, make sure they're moving symmetrically, 13, 14, 15, whoo, glutes on fire, beautiful, all right, from here, pop your band off your legs, we're going back up to the top, people who know me, know how much I love a second set. So all those exercises we've done, I might lay on a little bit extra, see how I'm feeling. So coming up to the top, first of all we had our lovely little swoop, so we step back, weight in that front heel, and we go up and back. So on a Lion King move, two, pushing that back heel, three, uh, four, and again, five. So this chills out a little bit the quad and hip flexor, which tends to want to take over the movements that we're asking the glutes to do. So we lengthen and stretch them first. Up and back one. Stretch, and it just feels so good, especially if you've been sitting for a while. Three, four, one more. Five, beautiful. Little pulses, little static lunges each side. This time I'll do a set of eight so I can get my balance. Wobbly day today. Up and down. One, two, three, four. Inhale down. Five. Inhale. Six. Inhale. Seven. Last one. Eight. Bring it in. Switch. Little key here, make sure your feet are hip distance apart. If you were to do two perfect train tracks, one would be on the right rail, one would be on the left rail. If you're on a tight rope and they're like directly um, in front and behind one another, very difficult to balance that. You probably can make it work, but I wouldn't advise it because it's very hard for your hips to be square to the front in that position. So both hip bones shine towards the front. Down and up. Now, this should feel a little bit easier. Now the legs are really warm, the glutes are really active. Good, two more. Beautiful. In, yes. Grab your weights, your baked bean tins, your sack of potatoes, your child, <laughs> I don't mind, your dog, I was up for it. And then knees wide, push into those heels, almost to the top, but not quite. Squeeze and drop. Squeeze, looking forward, chest lifted. Drop down, squeeze up. Boom. Look at that, I've got a little lockdown obsession of saying boom. <laughs> Just me energizing myself. <laughs> Good, last three, keeping belly tight, one, two, three, yes. Bring it in, safely put it down, so bend your legs, keep your back straight. 
And then coming all the way down to seated. Guess what? Put your band on. These bands look particularly small, I warn you. When they arrive through the post, you'll be like, I'm not going to get my legs in there. You can. It's particularly easy if you're wearing leggings or lycra, because obviously then it's a bit less uh, hideous on your skin. You can get some nice fabric ones now, so I'd probably do that if I was to buy them again. Slowly coming down. These ones are nice and cheap and cheerful though. So pop your uh, knees hip distance, heels to your butt, pushing out as we come up and squeeze to the top, touch down, squeeze, down, squeeze. If you can, you can also pull your pelvic floor up to really engage your deep core muscles and work those at the same time as we go to the top. And keep trying to go as high as you can. Maybe you can do it so you can't see your knees anymore. So really good conditioning, really good focus work. Goes a long way. Yeah, I was faffing in the gym, not knowing really what you're doing. One more, and down, let the knees drop in, take a breath, swear, do what you need to do. Um, and then from here we're going to do the little pulses now, so we're going to the top and we do the little, the little squeezes out and back in. So knees hip distance, up to the top, and then from here, hair grips and lying on your back is never good. <laughs> Push your hips as high as you can. Little out and back, one, two, three. As you do this, you try not to roll your feet too much. You don't want to be coming like too far out and rolling onto the out, right onto the outside edges of your feet. There's a small movement with the knees. Keeping those hips high, can feel the line is starting to drop. Just give them a talking to. They should really be on fire. If they're not, get a stronger band or do more reps than I'm recommending. Obviously, the stronger the band, the less reps you're gonna to need to do to get that same feeling. Take a nice deep breath, because as you remember from the first step, you do it twice. That's right, fun starts here. Pop the knees hip distance. Here we go again, last and final bit of the workout. Out, back in, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and down. All right. Nice when the little stretches here. So just bring that off and relax down. A little bit through your lower back too, so we'll just drop, plug your elbows down, just drop your knees to the one side, look over the opposite shoulder, and then back the other way. And then hug those knees in to your body, stretching out that lower back. From here, just pop your left ankle on the knee and then let your knee go as wide as possible and try to keep both lengths of your torso long. So you're trying not to let one side really bunch up. Keeping that even, just bring that knee in towards you. Nice deep breaths. You can take the hand to support it if you want to. You can also do a little bit of pressure, pushing the knee away from you and pulling the foot slightly towards you. And make sure you're not letting the pelvis twist 
or lift up on one side as you do this. Nice deep breaths there. If you struggle to get this position, you can put that back foot on a wall and be a bit more supported. And then swapping to the other side, keeping hips nice and level, bringing the knee in. Awesome, one more deep breath there. And then releasing that, slowly coming up. Nice, so there's just a couple of twists here. So just inhale, raise the arms up. And then take your right hand behind you, left one across, inhale, lift and twist. And then back the other way, inhale, lift up and twist. 